fake Mike, the most fictitious, Michaelicious, the fakest Michael you ever seen. Will Turbin, aka the reincarnation of L. Ron Hubbard. What's up, guys? Fake Mike World News. We're here in Central Falls, Rhode Island. Let's see what's going on. Please like, share, and subscribe. FakeMikeRealNews.com. Fake Mike Real News on Instagram. Fake Mike Real News on Twitter. If you guys want to donate, it's Fake Mike Real News. Dollar sign Fake Mike Real News on Cash App. Fake Mike Real News on PayPal. Yeah. The best thing you could do though is share the video. The best thing that you could do is share these videos. Hey, what's up, player? What's up? Everything good? That video that, that puts us in a positive light. I'm looking for that video and you didn't post it. Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, it's up on my channel, man. I didn't see it. I never, I'm never preemptively negative unless... What's, what's, the, uh, what's the tag on it? What's the tag on it? Fake Mike Real News. Just search through. It. It's a live video. No, you, I won't get you. I'm not trying to film anybody unless something bad's happened to them by the police. This guy's actually a pretty decent officer. I've dealt with thousands of officers across the country. The majority of them are not good. But this guy's actually a decent dude from my interactions with him in the past. You know what? I'm gonna lap this one up, guys. What is going on, folks? Will Turbot, a.k.a. the young Ron Hubbard here. Fake Mike. Real news. We're here on the border. Pawtucket in Central Falls, Rhode Island. And y'all drive by here sometimes. And I always see two cops. Think that? One down there. We're going to go check on them after. There's one over here. We're going to see. We're going to see what they're up to. They just got the lights on. They're just hanging out. See what they're working on. Guys, Fake Mike Real News, you can get some merch for a donation. Message me. Dollar sign, Fake Mike Real News on Cash App. Fake Mike Real News on PayPal. Fake Mike Real News on Twitter. Fake Mike Real News on Instagram. FakeMikeRealNews.com and FakeMikeRealNews.com on Facebook. Share the video, guys. Let's see what this guy's working on. How's it going, brother? Sure. Six dash. What you guys working on today? You just gonna like oversee them? Make sure they're doing the right job? Watching them come in and out. Cool. Do you think they're, do you suspect them of maybe doing anything nefarious in there? Cool, man. Let me ask you one question. My professor asked me to ask a police officer if they can tell me the five points of the First Amendment. Did you swear an oath to the Constitution? I'm not authorized to speak to the media. Well, this is specifically pertaining to your yeah. job. What's your badge number? What's your badge number? 71. All right, by the way, by the way, bro. Okay, cool. So this guy just gets paid to hang out here and do nothing all day. He watches these cars come and go. He gets paid to do nothing. He gets to be to sit there with the stupid mustache and do nothing. You know, meanwhile, there's cold cases, there's missing people, there's pedophiles. Yep, that's what I thought. He's a coward. This guy's a coward with a dumbass mustache. With a dumbass mustache. Look at that dumb ass mustache. Let's see what this other cop is up to. They're just, they're just hanging out. Just hanging out. I'm glad I'm paying you to sit there and do nothing. The stupid mustache. All these damn cops got stupid mustaches, bro. I think they're freaking cool. Let's see what this cop's up to, huh? cop thinks he's really freaking cool. 
Uh, I just got to sit here and watch them come in and out. Do you need to babysit these guys? Last I checked, they're adults. This is what cops get to, this is not even a construction on the street. Even that is a waste of time. This guy doesn't even have construction on the street. Nope. He's just kicking it. But he just sits there all day. That's what we pay him to do. You have to talk to my public information officer about the constitution. This is what happens when you ask cops the constitution. Oh, they can, they can talk to you all day about, oh, I'm just sitting here doing nothing. When you ask them their job, the first amendment. Oh, good job, do, do, do. Let's take a look at this here. Give you guys a little scenic view. We'll go see what's up with the popes. Pretty nice. Give you guys a shout out to the other one on the way back. Please share this video, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. We've been doing a lot of important videos over here on Fake Mike Real News. We've been interviewing historians, diplomats. A lot of cool interviews coming up, too. So please check out my other videos, man. They're really super dope. And I really like if you guys checked them out. So this is Central Falls Police. It's interesting because I think the Central Falls Police, maybe it's in, I don't know. Yeah, it's right over the line in Central Falls. So let's see what this one's doing. I just get to sit here all day with the lights on. Nice. It's very rare that within a half a mile you can get two different officers. Hey, bro. How's it going, ma'am? How are you? Good, thanks. What you guys working on today? Uh, something for the National, uh, well, no, the uh, Narragansett Bay. The Narragansett Bay? Yep. What do you mean? You're just watching the bay or what? I don't get it. I'm not doing any of the work, but this has to do with the Narragansett Bay. Gotcha. So you just got to stay here and work, you're with your lights on? Uh, help with the traffic when the trucks come out. Uh, okay. Is that coming up soon? Show up. Cool. I want to thank you for being uh, polite. Let me ask you one question, sir. I'm going back to college. My professor says I have to ask one officer that can tell me the five parts of the First Amendment. I'm not going to talk about that. Isn't the Constitution your, literally your job? You took an oath to protect it? Why wouldn't you talk about that? No, but I don't think any of these questions are good for Why? Why would you say that? Well, okay, I'll tell you, the, well, the reason this is in good faith is because countless men, women, and children have given blood, sweat, and tears so that you may have the position that you have. We pay you hard-earned tax money, and we pay you guys. The thing that makes the United States better than any other country, supposedly, is that we have our Bill of Rights. That's what makes us different from a dictatorship or communism. And you were entrusted in a very important job to be able to not to uphold our rights. Well, so the reason, what's your, what, I'm not educating you. What's your name badge number? What's your name and badge number? You just sit here on your phone all day. Sit here on your phone, wasting our tax money and you don't know the constitution. You should be ashamed of yourself. What would George Washington say? I know what George Washington would say. You sir are a red coat. We pay you good money. And the reason this isn't good faith is because I've asked thousands of officers the Constitution. Not one of them has been able to tell me the First Amendment. You, sir, are pathetic. You're a red coat. There's missing people in Pawtucket. There's missing people in Central Falls. There are pedophiles. There's untested rape kits. But no, you sit here all day and scroll on your phone and you don't even know the Constitution. How dare you? And you're a coward. You won't even identify yourself. I wouldn't identify myself either, even though it's your policy, if I didn't know the First Amendment Bill of Rights. And that's why I do this, to showcase the fact that 99.9% .9 of cops are ignorant losers who don't know the Constitution. We're literally paying you, and you can't even tell me the First Amendment. How pathetic is that? Seriously, seriously, how pathetic is that? Because, you know what, if you would have just told me the First Amendment, like you should, I would have left. I would have said, thank you so much. Wow, I can't believe it. Finally, one officer understands the First Amendment. But no, I came up to you polite, and then you roll up the window when I ask you about the First Amendment of your job. You're a bitch-ass coward, sir. You're a coward, bro. Sitting here scrolling on your phone through Grinder. Meanwhile, we got missing people. Sad, man. Pathetic. Pathetic.
ask this in good faith. I'm asking this guy about the Constitution. He thinks it's in bad faith. If I asked you, you know, the Communist Manifesto, yeah, that's bad faith. I'm asking you your job. People have died so we have freedoms. People have died so you can have your job and you don't even know it. You just sit in the car all day scrolling. Pathetic. Pathetic. If you guys want to complain, this is the guy that fails to identify himself. 2656 is the tag. And he just sits here every day, all day, because he has to hold the hand of the workers down there, make sure they don't get in trouble. That's what he needs to do. He needs to sit here with his flashy lights to make sure he's our guardian. But how can you guard us? How can you protect our rights if you don't know them? You can't. I'm going to check you again, bro. You better know that First Amendment. What a loser. What a loser. The loser with the skinny wiener. That's from Heavyweights with Ben Stiller. Good movie. Yeah, this is, this is the state of police today, guys. This is what they do. All right, I'll show you the other side of this river here. Or whatever the hell it is. I should know this. It's beautiful. Contrast that with what we just witnessed. Two ignorant officers. And, and they're... they're they're emblematic of every officer I've ever come across. We only have one officer get the Third Amendment right. And then Todd was like, yo, ask him the First Amendment. I'm like, no, Todd, surely these guys know the First Amendment. And I said, Todd said, no, they don't. And stop calling me Shirley. And I did. And then I started asking the First Amendment. We've yet to get one officer across this whole country who can even tell me the First Amendment. Wow. Wow. All right, guys, again, fakemikerealnews.com. It's updating right now. It's going to look fire. Also, dollar sign, Fake Mike Real News on Cash App. Please and thank you for the donations. Fake Mike Real News on PayPal. Fake Mike Real News on Twitter. Fake Mike Real News on Instagram. Fake Mike Real News.com on Facebook. HeroSoapCompany.com forward slash fake Mike. Yeah, by the way, I support veterans. And the links are in the description. So please support HeroSoapCompany.com <clears throat> forward slash fake Mike. You get a discount. You're helping veterans. You're getting an all natural product. And so that helps me. Every time you purchase something from HeroSoapCompany.com forward slash fake Mike, you get a discount. You're getting an all natural product. And you're helping me and you're helping veterans. Portions of their. Uh, portions of their sales go to help veterans. So it's a really good cause, guys. All right, fake micro news out.